guys, welcome to another Tian Customs video. I'm Tian doing another episode from a time lapse series. This time it's not based on a figure, but it's actually based on a display base. So, ever since I made this zombie survivalist Batman or whatever you want to call him, apocalyptic Batman, I've wanted to make a display base. So, I've bought this off of eBay, which I got today in the time of recording, and I really want to modify this, make it, you know, like a themed display box. So, I'm going to be like gluing and modifying, sculpting some stuff and just making it look like an apocalyptic theme to it. So I'm pretty much going to go over some ideas in a moment, what I have, but I first have to give a shout out to Cosplay Chris as he has inspired me to do this and actually, you know, try using my customizing stuff towards other and stuff. So thank you so much Cosplay Chris, if you're watching this, thank you because you are pretty much inspiring me to do this. Uh, this is on Instagram. Uh, the finished product of this will probably be on Instagram before this comes up. And yeah. Anyway, so back to this. Plans that I'm planning on doing is pretty much for this, I'm going to leave it untouched. The only thing I'm really going to do is I want to print out like a backdrop kind of thing off of. Hello. <laughs> I want to print, print off like a backdrop kind of thing to glue on the back of here so that way if you look at it like so you'll have the figures and the display base and then you'll have the backdrop so the apocalyptic th setting in the background so that's all i'm pretty much going to be doing for that for this however i'm going to be doing a little bit more too so i want to try and stick batman so that way he stands kind of you know kind of in the center of it when I finish Nightwing, I'm trying to show you how I want it set. So I have him kind of like that. When I finish Nightwing, and I'm just grabbing this other Nightwing, I want to try and have him stand like that, kind of. And then I want to have, you know, maybe a dead zombie here, a couple of zombies walking in the background. So, but we'll see. So, all I know is I want them to be able to stand. Now, as you can see, they're flat, and unless. I keep him like that and I just do this and not move them then they're gonna fall over so I'm probably gonna glue down something like uh, probably not as big but you know just a bit of something to you know just glue down and make sure it keeps them in place maybe even just a base plate and glue a bit of a base plate but we'll see so I'm gonna glue something down so that way I can hold the figures down and then, you know, they stand there and they won't move. So I'll just use some super glue, glue that down. So a little while ago, I actually was trying to make Sandman. And this is pretty much another method, a method that Cosplay Chris uses. Now this is actual sand from the beach. Uh, because I don't have too much in the front. So what I'm going to do, whatever I don't actually stick on, I'm going to use the method, put a bit of glue down, smear it down, and then put some sand on it, you know, and then use that. So that's pretty much going to be the final thing I'm going to do. And then I might add a little bit of blood stains here and there around some of the zombies. So, yeah. But other than that, I'm thinking I might also sculpt some rocks and some other stuff. I want to try and have a little bit of a road over this corner. So I'm going to have to mark that out and then I'll either use some card or maybe even do a bit of sculpting or something, but we'll see. So yeah, anyway, this should be fun, a little bit different. I hope I don't stuff up, but then again, if I do stuff up, then hey, this is my first time actually trying this. So yeah, anyway, I say let's get to it. update so as you just saw i did a line like an outline for where i kind of want the road to be and you know i measured it with the next box gift card and i've just uh you know measured it to that and i've cut it out i've painted it all so 
what you saw me draw, like in the grey lid, it was just an idea of how I'm going to shape the road. So that's pretty much the road done. Now as I was saying, I was like, you know, not really sure if I wanted to use one of these kind of things uh, to hold up the mini figures because it would stick out. So what I'm planning on using, I actually cut this up when I made my school project last year in media, War Story. So I'm... This is just one of the smaller piece, the smaller piece that I have to cut off to, just so I could fit the bigger piece in the frame. So I'm probably just going to cut up some of this and just glue it on like somewhere around here. And then that will be the main base. I'll have, you know, a couple of like a zombie there and then the main two there. So I'm just going to cut up little bits and just glue them on. And then I'll probably paint them in like a maybe grey colour just so that way, you know, it doesn't look like a green area, it's just going to be grey. Now I could use a grey base plate, but that will mean cutting up a big uh, base plate. So I think this is probably the best that I have at the moment, because I don't have any other colours besides green and light grey, which is a, you know, a big one. And after, you know, I measure out that, I'm going to try and, you know, sculpt on some rocks in the background, you know, just have some rocks, you know, just, a, you know, around the back, just around there and maybe like another one up here or something in but how I imagine it it'll be like a road Batman and Ro uh, Nightwing standing there a zombie villain there one on the ground and maybe another one in the back here somewhere rocks sculpted around and then you know, maybe a rock here with a little bit of blood smell but we'll see but yeah so I'm gonna try and fit all that in like I said but if I can't fit the rocks in 100% then I can probably sculpt on the inside maybe so that way if I remove it then yeah but I still need to print out the background for that but that'll probably be one of the last bits but anyway let's get back to it <laughs> So I'm coming back in with another update. So, the rocks. I've just finished sculpting the rocks. Yes, shut up. I'm not the best with sculpting. But hey, I reckon it works. So I'm gonna one rock out here, which when these are dry, I'm gonna go over in like a dark gray color and, you know, just weather them up a bit. And they, you know, like go over in a dark gray and use this gray and just dry brush over them just to touch them up a bit. This one, I'm gonna Go over in a grey, do a similar thing, except I'm going to uh, put some blood up the top here and whatnot, maybe try and do something, I don't know, maybe put some dirt through it or whatnot. Now, I've actually cut these out, like I just said and showed before, out of this, so now uh, that the paint, I think, is pretty much drying. I think the paint's pretty much done for this. I might do a little bit of dry brushing on it, just with some dark grey, and like I said, that's going to be stuck in the middle. And that one's probably going to be stuck just in front of this rock. And then that way I can actually stand figures up like so. The road piece is pretty much done. I just need to glue it down and then make it look like a road. So I'm probably going to make it, I don't know, but like go over and whatnot. And then I, all I have to do, once I glue everything down and this is dried and I can paint it. Once all that's done, I can then weather everything and then I can stick some sand throughout. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty much, you know, that, yeah, I'm really loving how this turned me out. I'm pretty much just going to do the road, finish off this little road piece without weathering, just the details, and then I'm going to leave this for the next couple of hours just to let the procreate dry, and then I'll come back to it, and hopefully I can just glue on the paint and everything, and I can just paint everything. So, yeah, uh, I'm nearly done, so like I said, I'm going to glue this down, and then yeah, I just did everything. So, yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, so now the Procreate has actually dried up, and <laughs> I forgot to do a time lapse, but all I really did is what was once these were actually dry from the paint, 
I glued them on. Now, I know I didn't do a time lapse, just I forgot the time lapse just gluing them on, but then again, it would have just been me gluing these on, and then that'll be it. I, and I decided to cut up another one of these so that way, you know, I can have fit two of like zombie versions of Batman villains up here and then have one lying down there. For the road, I'm going to need to repaint it. Now, I'm running really low on my flat black. So, like my flat black, I'm like nearly out. I'm um, just barely. While I was waiting for this to dry, I was actually working on Nightwing and Robin based in this timeline. So I'm running out of flat black, so what I'm probably gonna do is gonna go over into semi-gloss black, then I'll wash like a dark grey through it, and then I'll just do a wash of like just some sandy, like a sandy look. Like just some sand and whatnot to go on there. And then that'll be the road, then I'll probably do some e-tape just to, you know, uh, make the yellow pop. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it like that, if I'm gonna have a diagonal or how I'm gonna set up the road yet, so I've got some ideas. After that, uh, then I m probably won't need to clean this up too much, so I'm not really gonna paint on it since it's gonna be all hidden. I'm probably gonna clean that up a little bit though, like paint over that as well. Now I imagine this is just like a concrete slab and then this is just the sand, so yeah. But yeah, anyway, I would say this is around about 50% done, maybe even more. I'm really loving how this is turning out. I love this project and I love this whole idea. Like I said, I've, I don't have anything to look off, so this is all coming out of my mind and I'm just loving how it's all turning out. So it looks better than how I pictured it. So anyway, let's get back to it. Okay guys, so pretty much all of the painting is done. As you saw, I did another coat of the road here in the semi-gloss black, and I tried to do dry rushing, but it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. So then I just, you know, I did it. I tried to do it twice, and it, the second time I did the uh, semi-gloss black, it looked fine, and then I did the, you know, the dry brushing of the light gray. That still didn't look how I wanted it. So this is kind of a mix between the light gray and the semi-gloss black and I think the road looks really cool now so now I need to just try and shape it or like add the yellow stripes on uh, I'm probably gonna have them go diagonal and I'm probably gonna use e-tape and glue e-tape on top or something and then I'll just weather it as well with some black or some gray or something and then that will be the road all completed uh, as you saw I painted up the rocks in the dark gray then I dry brushed the light gray and then I dry brush some, like the wooden deck tan, or otherwise a light tan, like this, over the top of it. So it looks all sandy and stuff, so. Yeah, I might add a little bit more light gray in there, since you can't really see too much. Uh, but, other than that, I really love how these rocks turn out. And now, all I'm gonna do is just dry brush some red up at the top here, to make it look like, you know, maybe a zombie skull's just been bashed in the rock or something. And then, after I've finished off the road and done that, it'll be up to... Uh, putting the sand on there So I'm gonna have it go through some of these cracks in the rocks and have it on top of some of the rocks in between pretty much where all this black base is So yeah, but I might give it a bit of a uh, paint in a dark tan or something to go around just that way You know if it moves and you can still see uh, That it's a tan color or something so We'll see but I'm really loving how this is turning out and maybe at the end I'll give you some sneak peeks of the robin and the Nightwing is I'm working them in between some shots and waiting for stuff to dry so after the roads dry then I'll go back to doing you know the yellow stripes and then I might give this base an actual paint in this color you know just so that way if this doesn't go on properly you can still see it that it's got tan underneath so yeah anyway I guess now it's time to go you know do what I just said <laughs> So while I'm waiting for the paint and stuff to dry, I'm going to be printing out my 
background for the actual glass bit, or well, not really glass, but the actual cover bit. Put it all in there. And I've decided to pick this one, so pretty much I'm going to put it into a PowerPoint, and then I'm just going to print it out, and then I can cut it up and add it in and whatnot. So, yeah, I think this is probably the better one out of all of them. Uh, so, because I don't know it's just the sand will kind of match up more and whatnot. So yeah, instead of having a road behind, since there's a bit of road in front and the rest is still sand, I think this will probably work. I reckon, unless there's something else, which I'm having a quick look for now. Don't really want any Walking Dead or anything. Uh, just don't really want to waste. Like, like yeah, I want to have kind of like a building in the background. So there is that one. Or I also have this other one, which is alright, it's just I'm not a huge fan of it. Actually, that might be good. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, it could be like a rocky background, by the way I cut it out and stuff, so. Alright, <laughs> this is gonna be the new background, so I'm just gonna copy paste it into a PowerPoint, print it out, and then I can cut it up and glue it in to thing so yeah let's do that and then next time I've spit we'll be crush finishing up the base so yeah okay so now I've printed it out and I really love how it comes out so the printer you know it kind of prints things funny so it's a bit darker to what was on the computer but I reckon it works for this now I'm probably not gonna cut it so now I need to cut it and actually glue it to here so I'm probably gonna glue you know, maybe have about that or something. Get a bit of the sky or maybe something like that. So, you know, cut that out and glue it in the side so there's actually little bits, you know, in here and stuff. But no, this has been like a really fun little project and I want to do more of these. So let me know what you think. But anyway, let's pretty much go ahead and finish off this display case. I'm so excited for this. So yeah, I just wanna after I finish this instead of going to bed, I just wanna you know finish off my other figures with a showcases ASAP. Oh man, all of this. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and finish this up. <laughs> The display base is all finished. Now, I'm just waiting for some of the paint on the road to dry, and then I'm probably going to fix that up, but other than that, this is all finished. I think gluing on the sand was the most pain, uh, most annoying bit because the thing on the side here burst, so I got glue pretty much all over my fingers. So now I'm going to have to go wash them wa that off. But no, it works, it fits nicely. And it opens up nicely as well. So, yeah, I decided to pick this background, I think it works. That sort of looks like they're on the outside of the city. And then, how I'll probably display them, I'll probably display Batman like that. And for the time being, I'll just grab Red Robin. I'll probably have Tim here. And then, if I can find Nightwing, I can then show you where that's who would go. You know, just to give you some some idea of how I'll display. So, get rid of that for the time being. So, display him like that. And then I'll probably get, like, a couple of zombies to go up the side here and a zombie line down there. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of this time-lapse episode. I really like this episode, I'm actually on my key Batman there. Uh, but yeah, I think this turned out really great. I love how it, I love how it looks and everything. So, yeah, there's Batman. 
like I said, I'll add in other figures and stuff like that soon, so, yeah, and then I might do some more weathering to the road and whatnot, but this is the main gist, and in my next video where I'll have my Nightwing and Robin and everything, then I'll pretty much do a quick review on this as well to show you just any updates that I've done in between now and then because I just need to wait for the paint to dry to fix up those lines and then you know and then weather it and whatnot but yeah so like I said I'll show you a quick update on the characters there's Nightwing like I said it's just this torso which I've gone over in red the Robin torso it's all new don't know why I did the back because you're not going to see the back uh, I got the Nightwing face which I've just heavily modified. Well, not heavily, but just modified. Uh, Nightwing's arms. There's one arm. The other arm's pretty much done here. So that's how Nightwing's arms are going to turn out with those wrap wraps going around. And then, you know, I've got Robin's left arm and then the right arm is just a completed arm and whatnot but yeah you anyway, know i'm not going to show too much more uh because then there'll be no point for the showcase but hopefully they'll be tomorrow or the day after but yeah i really want to have it tomorrow so that way the day after i can have you know my zombie versions of some of the minifigures so of the batman villains so yeah anyway uh, thanks for watching this second video for my time lapse series. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm hoping to do more of these in the future because I really love how this turned out, and I really want to do more. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, share for more, and I'll see you guys next time.